Greetings everyone, my name is Atterville, and welcome back to my let's play of Code Arcturus. In this episode, I'll start the second half of the Marine's journey, beginning with level 7, Fault Run. Out of the frying pan and into the fire, the Marine, narrowly surviving the last day of the lab, is greeted by more twisted beings and machines than he's experienced before. He also spots something that might be what they're so desperately trying to keep him away from. New enemy type. Think of them as being larger versions of the regular insectoids. I find them far easier to hit, and they're not quite as fast. Despite having double the HP of their regular brethren, I find them far easier to dispatch. Here's the titular vault, but the gates are closed for now. Here's another new enemy type, the Robodroid. They fire a series of tree guide missiles at you. If you have double or triple jumping unlocked, it's pretty easy to guide the missiles away from you, and they only have 3 HP. This opens the gate to the vault, but also spawns in all those robo-droids. I'll go back for it for the extra challenge. You can do this without any upgrades, but I don't recommend it. Unless you're speedrunning this, backtracking isn't too difficult. You want to lure them one at a time. And that's all of them. And a reward are all these coins and gems. Sadly, I can't reach these upper ones. I need triple jumping.
This time, the large mechs are a hazard. But only sometimes. Sadly, I can't reach that gem. Also, if you fall down here, you're stuck. If you can reach up here with a double jump, you should be able to get out of here with a double jump too. Developer oversize aside, let's continue through the main path. It's kind of funny that you can shoot them at the edge of the screen, and they won't react to you. I wasn't sure if I could make it. Ah, uh, would have been easier with a triple jump. Well, guess not. I'll go back for a gem later, along with the rest in the vault. And that's the end of the vault. What I need is a speed boost, as well as an increase to my fire rate. Level 8, Labyrinth Lab. The Marine arrives to a set of confusing corridors. With alien insectoids crawling out of every corner, he needs to hurry and find his way out before he gets overwhelmed. So it's a maze level of the game. Apparently, this stage can be completed within 35 seconds. For my first playthrough, I'll try collecting some to most of the gems.
I notice a blue crystal to the top left. The speed boost upgrade is noticeable. I can now outrun those bullets, for example. This looks like another good farming opportunity. Knowing my luck, it'll like to take multiple playthroughs to collect all the gems. Two more white gems left. Gotta be sure. I can hop over them with my double jump, but the window for it is tight. Oh, how I wish I had grenades. As for the bigger coins, I'll probably ignore them. That's very likely a bottomless pit. I haven't fallen into one yet. I don't want that to be the first one. Simply confirming I haven't missed anything here. What's going to happen is that I'm very likely going to miss a dead end.
If I didn't have to worry about the gems, this would be a lot more straightforward. I simply need to find my way to the right. Also, you got stuck in the wall. And you can harm me too. That should be the last of the white gems. Only two blue gems and one red gem remain. Let's see what's down there. I should not have played aggressively there. That too. One more blue gem. There it is. Exit's at the bottom right. Hang on a minute. Can I go back up there? I don't think I can. Once I go down that pit, I can't go back up. I'll do it when I go back here. Well, that took a while. Speaking of which, let's make ourselves faster. Much faster. On to level 9, Deeper Descent. The Marine comes to a strange elevator, with again, no way to go, but down. He jumps on. The mandatory auto-scroll of the game. The speed buff is noticeable. I wonder if there are any secrets behind the row of spikes to the right. In any case, my main objective here is to survive this onslaught of enemies for the next two minutes. I'm only going for these coins for next bit of challenge. Here 
Here comes the hard part. Again, I find them tougher than their larger cousins. And also I completed a stage, but I missed two gems somewhere. Let's take another look at the level. Okay, there it is. I'm out of here. Ugh, oh, off screen this took over 20 attempts. With that hurdle out of the way, on to level 10, Divergent Dash. With most threats chasing the marine defeated, it seems the deepest parts of the lab have been reached. But it looks like traversing it won't be easy. Some strange power source is also detected near the exit. What could it be? Some enemies, some platforming. Is there going to be a mini boss or boss at the end? Regardless, I'm happy to exit out the elevator. I'm surprised I completed it on my first attempt, only to repeatedly fail on the next 20 attempts. Do I need triple jump for this? Yeah, I do. That's one gripe I have about this game, the difficulty balancing between levels. I understand the game gradually getting more difficult and there being breeder levels, but in general, the curve feels a bit inconsistent to me. Four in one go? No, it was something else. What does that do? Oh, it gives me another jump. If I had the triple jump, would it instead give me a quadruple jump? And that's it. No boss or mini boss at the end. That was the only secret. And it fully upgrades my jump pack, it's a permanent upgrade. Let's upgrade my blaster fire, and move on to level 11, Prickly Predicament. The marine seems to be getting close to the exit of the lab, and the entrance of some kind of facility is forming in the distance. No life signs detected anymore, but the path to the exit is filled with deadly obstacles. The final platforming gauntlet. 
No wonder why we require an extra jump at the end of the last level. Uh, the things I do for extra gems. Good start, but here comes the hard part. See these gates? I have to do this several times. That's why I want double jump. That Bitcoin's not worth it. The following is a summary of all the deaths that happened up until the first checkpoint. Duplicate deaths excluded. In fact, I can just reload at the checkpoint as many times as I want. And sneak past here this way. Now, the other hard part. Time for the really hard part. And we're out of this place. Oh my goodness, a literal difficulty spike. At least I got all the gems during my first playthrough. Anyways, I'll save the final level for the next episode. Well then, 
Thanks for watching and have a nice day.